Hello everyone, here's our latest video update on Super Typhoon Vong Fong. Now today is Thursday, October 9th, 2014 and again we continue to watch the system maintain its category 5 intensity as it moves very slowly northwestward across the Philippine Sea, again still setting its eye towards the southern Japanese island. The system was last located approximately 800 kilometers south southeast of the island of Okinawa in Japan or about 830 kilometers East southeast from Basco Batanes, maximum sustained winds according to the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency remain at 300, uh, 215 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 305 kilometers per hour. So, no change in wind speeds over the past 24 hours according to JMA. However, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has slightly lowered their wind estimates for the Wong Fong. Now down to 270 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 325 kilometers per hour, but still making Vong Fong a category five super typhoon. It has been a category five for almost uh, for more than 24 hours now, and as I've mentioned before, it's moving northwestward again very slowly now at 10 kilometers per hour as it rounds the uh, southwestern periphery of that subtropical ridge. Again, we expect the system to eventually move northward possibly impacting uh, the Ryukyu Islands as we move into the weekend. And looking at the latest uh, infrared satellite image, again, you can see uh, Vong Fong, again, looking still pretty pretty healthy here. We still have that pretty uh, symmetrical and well-defined eye surrounded by deep and strong convective activity. However, the cloud tops continue to warm over the past 24 hours, which indicates some weakening. We're also starting to see some disruption to the north and west as we are starting to see some dry air and also that wind shear increase as the system moves northward. Eventually, uh, Vong Fong will be moving into an area of uh, moderate to high wind shear and also the sea surface temperatures as it moves northward will continue to cool uh, and will no longer be able to sustain that strong typhoon intensity. Uh, nevertheless, uh, Vong Fong will still pose a serious and, uh, and uh, dangerous threat as it moves towards the uh, Ryukyu Islands over the next two to three days. Now, if you watched their video update from yesterday and also from our uh, meteorologist Robert Spera, uh, we have been uh, highlighting the uh, different uh, scenarios for Vong Fong as it moves northward. Uh, yesterday, the consensus among the computer models was that the system will move east of the islands. Uh, however, we have seen a sudden, a gradual shift to the west and uh, the consensus is actually now, is actually uh, shifted westward now, taking Vong Fong very near, if not directly over the island of Okinawa. And in fact, uh, again, you can see here in this latest uh, uh, compilation of the different numerical models, uh, that we use, uh, most of them have shifted westward compared to yesterday and are bringing Vong Fong over uh, or at least near the island of Okinawa and also Amami before it moves northeastward uh, to plow mainland Japan. And one of those computer models is the GFS model, one of the best ones out there uh, used by the United States and uh, you can see here this is just one of the many scenarios uh, and uh, this is not an official forecast that uh, just want to emphasize that, but uh, you can see in this uh, you can see in this model output. This is dated uh, Saturday, uh, eighteen uh, Zulu, which is about early morning uh, Saturday and two to three a.m. local time in Japan. And as you can see, GFS taking the center of Wong Fong right on the southern tip of Okinawa, moving near the city of Naha as a strong Category Two, even a Category Three. Uh, typhoon and this if it happens will be the worst case scenario that we're looking at uh, now obviously if the system actually shifts eastward then the strongest winds will stay offshore and the islands will be spared if it moves a little bit to the west same uh, same uh, thing as well but uh, again the the, uh, the scenario being shown here by the GFS would be the worst case scenario in terms of the destructive wind potential and also that storm surge and high waves especially along the eastern facing shores of the islands out here. And also one thing to emphasize as well with this, uh, with, with Wang Fong, is that it will be moving very slowly to the north. In fact, we're looking at uh, as much as 24 to 36 hours 
of winds of up to 35 knots or higher. So we're talking about tropical storm force conditions lasting more than a day. Uh, we're thinking about Saturday and lasting possibly into Sunday afternoon as the system moves northward. So you saw the GFS model. That's uh, the graphic. The previous graphic was courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com. And uh, meanwhile, here is the hurricane weather research forecast, uh, the HWRF model. And again, showing you pretty much the same, uh, same, almost similar track with GFS, also a worst case scenario for Okinawa and the rest of the islands, taking Vong Fong right into the island of Okinawa, which I'm highlighting right now. And the light blue shading that you can see correspond, corresponds to wind speeds of category 2, maybe even up to category 3 strength. We're talking about 165 to as much as 220 kilometers per hour. Uh, uh, of, of wind speeds uh, as we move into Saturday and into Sunday. Right now, right now we're certainly going to say uh, that the, the potential for a very strong and, uh, again, life-threatening winds exist uh, for Okinawa, especially now that the computer models have shifted their track to the west. Uh, again, some pretty serious developments going on here, and we'll continue to watch that, but uh, we have about 48 hours to prepare so if you do live in these areas, please, again, start stocking up on, on food and water and tying up uh, loose objects or possible bring them inside with you. And if you are in uh, prone areas, uh, start coordinating with your local officials for a possible shelter uh, before the system, uh, before Vongfong moves, uh, moves near the region. Now, as far as the official forecasts go, this uh, we start with the Japan Meteorological Agency, and their latest forecast is still actually eastward, e east of the consensus. They have shifted their track west, but as I've seen, uh, as I've shown in the previous uh, images before, the consensus is actually to Vong for Vongfong to move between the islands of Okinawa and Amami. Uh, but here, JMA's track is still showing the system tracking east of the islands. So still a little bit, uh, still some uh, some differences in the forecasts uh, for some agencies here. Um, but as I've, uh, I've, as I've said yesterday, the uh, islands are still within that cone of error. So uh, residents and, and, and our viewers in that region should still continue to watch for any uh, sudden changes with the forecast. Now, as far as the uh, long-range forecasts go, uh, as we move into Monday and into Tuesday, we expect Vong Fong to eventually move into the mainland Japan, uh, eventually affecting the islands of Kyushu, Shikoku, and much of Honshu. Again, bringing that stormy conditions. So will, Vong Fong will be weakening to uh, tr uh, Category 1 typhoon, maybe even a tropical storm around that time frame, but will still uh, be a serious threat for, for, for the islands as you move into early parts of next week. And uh, finally, we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's track, and again showing you the, the northward uh, track for Vong Fong, and uh, they too have shifted their track westward, actually taking Vong Fong now between the island of Okinawa and Amami as you move into Saturday and into Sunday. Uh, speaking of the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, uh, the uh, Kadena Air Force Base is now under a uh, tropical cyclone condition of readiness 3, which means destructive winds are possible within the next 48 hours, and residents are now urged to uh, make their initial preparations for this incoming typhoon. Uh, the base over there expecting winds of up to 165 kilometers per hour, that's what we've been saying uh, 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 previously. Uh, also, again, a JTWC expecting Vong Fong to eventually move into mainland Japan, turning northeastward, becoming a weak Category 1 typhoon and become a tropical storm as we move into Honshu uh, by Tuesday. Again, still bringing that uh, torrential, possibly widespread torrential rainfall uh, during that time frame as well. And that pretty much concludes our video update for today. Again, please, uh, if, you leave in, if you live in the areas mentioned, especially in the southern Japanese islands. Please make your start making your preparations as of this moment. As always, continue to keep updated on our website, westernpacificweather.com, and also on our blog and our Facebook page. Uh, I've left the link below under the video description for you to go to and uh, keep uh, keep the latest updates on this storm. And as always, stay, stay, uh, stay safe and uh, see you in our next update.